uh, see these three things. First, we'll see the, how we'll define the problem, how we'll formulate the goal, and then we'll see different algorithms, right? So these are the things that we'll see. So well-defined problem and solution. So a problem can be defined formally by five components. So we have these five components. Based on that, we'll define the problem. So the first is the initial state. Any problem will have some initial state. Means initially we have to uh, start, right? So what are the state where we're starting? What are the state where we're starting? So that is one thing. So this, we have the starting state. Then what are the actions that we have to available? We have available. So action sequence are there, means we can go left, we can go right, we can start uh, uh, sensing or we can uh, uh, do uh, the section, right? Uh, if we'll take the example of the, the cleaning agent, right? Then transition model. Transition model is also called successor function. This transition model will apply in the transition model, we'll put some state and some action. When we put some, what are the state we have, we'll perform the action, it will reach and it will give us another state. That is the transition model or transition function. Transition function, we give the state, current state, we, and we perform some action on the current state, we'll reach to the next state. That is done by the transition model. Then we have the goal test. All the time, whenever we reach a new state, we have to compare with the goal, whether we have achieved the goal or not, right? And then we have to see the path cost. So achieving from, let's say one state to another state, to another state, to goal, what are the costs that we have uh, given? So cost may be based on the time based on the energy consumption based on the distance that we have uh, we have taken right so the cost will be defined in, uh, which is related to each and every part so these are the some five component that is required in problem formulation okay so the first one is the initial state then action then transition model then goal test, and the last we have the path cost. Let's see this. This is the problem that we have. A simplified road, road map of the part of Romania. So in the Romania uh, uh, state or the country, we have all these cities, as you can see. Uh, we, we have or India, then Zerand, Arad, Timasuara, Sibui, right? So all these are different cities, okay? Now in this, uh, whatever graph it is giving, it is having the city name as the node value, node name, and in the edge, it is defined how much kilometer they are apart from each other, how much mile they are apart from each other. So let's say our goal is to, our starting state is, let's say I'm here at Arad. And my goal is to reach the Bucharest. This is my goal. So I am here, I, I need to reach here. So what are the problem that I, I have or how we'll define the problem? So the problem will have, what are the thing we have in the problem? Initial state, right? What is my initial state? The first thing is initial state. So what is my initial state here? Here my initial state is R. This is my initial state, right? What is the next thing? Action. What are the actions that we can perform here? I can, I can go from here to here, right? I can move. I can move from here to here. I can move from here to here. So the action, what is my action? Action is move. I can move from one city to another city. I can move. Third, transition model or the succession from formula. So what is my transition model? 
So in transition model, we have the city name, right? The city name and the movement in kilometers. So when I'll move from one city with these much of kilometer, I'll reach to another city. So from city one, I'll I move to some one kilometer, I'll reach to some city two, right? This is my transition model here. Next is the goal test. The fourth one is the goal test. So what is the goal test? Goal test always, when I'll reach to a new city, I'll compare that particular city with the uh, Bucharest. Whether I have achieved my goal or not, because this is my goal city, right? So this is the goal test. What is the fifth one? Fifth one is a path cost. What is the total path that I'll that I have moved to achieve the goal? This is my path cost. So the path cost will be taken. How it will be calculated? It will be calculated from the starting city. So let's say I am in the city one. I'll move from city one to city two. From city two to city three. And let's say city three to city four. And this city four is my goal, goal city. So from here to here, let's say I have walked 10 kilometer. From here to here, let's say I walk 20 kilometer. From here to here, I walk, let's say 30 kilometer. So how much cost I have uh, taken? So that is the path cost. So here the path cost is 50 kilometer. I move 50 kilometer. From here to here, 20, sorry, 10, 20, and then 30. Sorry, it will be 60. So 10, 20, it will be 30, 30 plus 30, it will be 60. So 60 kilometer uh, movement I have done to achieve the goal. That is nothing but the path cost. So I hope you understand all these five components related to the problem formulation. So the same thing is, is written here. The initial state, the initial state, the agent is starting it. For example, the initial state of our agent is uh, in Romania might be described as the Arad. Let's say Arad is my initial state. So Arad is my initial state. Now the next one is the action. What are the actions that we have to will perform? So I can go, I can move. I can go from Subui. I can go from uh, Tumusara. I can go from Saran to achieve something. So go is my actions, right? Which are applicable here. So a description of possible action available to the agent given a particular state. So if I am in the state, what action I'll perform in that particular state? The set of action that can execute in S, we say that each of these action is applicable in S. So S is my what? State. So if I am in one state, if I am in one city, I perform some action to reach another city. I'll perform some action to reach another city. I'll perform some action to reach another system, right? Now the next one is the transition model. Transition model I told you is from one city, how we can go to another city. So definitely we have to perform the action. So a description of what each action does, the, fo the formal name for that, this is the transition model. Specified by the function result, S comma A. S is a state, A is the action. In a state, when we perform the action, whatever the result will get is nothing but another state. That return the state, the state from doing action A in state S. We also use the term successor to refer to any state reachable from a given state by a single action. For example, here, result, if I am in, a, I'll go to Zerin. So where I'll go? I'll reach to Zerin, right? So that is the action that we have performed. Go Zerend is my action. I am, what is the state I have is the Arad. So this is my state. I am right now in Arad. I'll perform the action, go Zerend. So when I'll perform that, I'll reach to another state. 
Together, the initial state action transition model implicitly define the state space of the problem. Now, with that particular, we can have another term called state space. It means that, let's say I am in Arad, Arad city right now. In the Arad, I'll perform the action. What are the action? The action is go Zarend. So Zarend is another city where I'm going. So when I perform that particular action, where I'll go? I'll go to Zerand. So from this state to this state, to follow one action, I reach to another state. This is called state space. I'll make the state space. So in this way, I'll make the state space. In this way, I'll make the state space. And that state space will tell me that how I reach the goal. Let's say this is my this is my uh, goal city, Bucharest. So from Arad, how we have uh, action? What are the action that we have taken to achieve that particular goal? So that is nothing but the state space. So I have to create the state space through the transition model to formulate the problem. And this, after the formulation of the problem, I will get to know that this is the part that we have to follow. This is the part that we have to follow to reach the goal. So this is my path, right? To do, to getting that particular part, I have to use this. This is called a state space. This is called state space. This is called a state space. Sometimes it is called a state space, space diagram, okay? So the state, this is my state, action will perform with some transition model. It will give me another state, right? So this is my state with some action. I'll, I'll get another state. This is my state with some another action. I'll reach to another state. This is my state with some action. I'll reach to another state. From this state, with some action, I'll reach to another state, right? So this is nothing but the state space. The set of all state uh, reachable from the initial state by any sequence of action. So we know that from the initial state, Arad, I can reach different states. So when we make this particular diagram, this is called a state space. The state space form a direct network or a graph in which the node are a state and the link between the nodes are actions. The path in the state space is a sequence of a state connected by a sequence of actions. So this is the path, right? This is the path is connected with each other in the form of edges. The next one is the goal test. So all the time when I'll reach to one state, I have to uh, compare whether I am I have reached the goal or not. So all the time I have to see that whether I am in the Bucharest or not. Right. So sometimes the goal is uh, uh, specified by an abstract property rather than an um, explicit uh, enumerator uh, set of state. For example, in chess, the goal is to reach the state called checkmate, where the opponent uh, king is under attack and cannot escape. So sometimes we have the goal like this, which is some discrete value, and sometimes we doesn't. We cannot have any uh, any discrete value. Instead, we have some situation. And what is the situation? Situation is checkmate in the in the chess game. So in the chess, what is the goal? The goal is to uh, do the checkmate to our opponent. This is my goal, right? This is my goal. Path cost, as, as we have just discussed, what is a path cost? So from one action, whatever action will perform. So to achieve another state. So if I, I am in, the, in one state, I'll perform some action to reach another state. So what is the cost? So cost will be calculated 
from one state, it will perform that action to reach that particular another state, what is the cost? So that cost is the cost of that particular path to reach it. So we'll put it cost here. And then we'll make a summation of it. So let's say we have reached, let's say, S2 with some action. So what is the cost? So the cost will be added here with another cost. So cost of two will be plus will be the cost of whatever we have. So this is the cost. And this is the cost. These two costs will be added up to make the cost of this. Right. So in the in formulating the problem, we have seen all those things. We'll propose a formula of the problem of getting to Bucharest in terms of initial state, action, transition model, goal state, and the path cost. That this uh, formulation seems reasonable, but it is still a model, an abstract mathematical description, and not a real thing. So let's see um, how we can solve that particular problem. So this is the example.